It can be really fun and rewarding to take photos in the winter in the snow. The snow gives a fresh new look to your whole area, but it can also be really difficult to get out and shoot when the world is frozen. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmett and today I'm going to share some of the gear that I use to make winter photography uh, safe and more comfortable. First off, I'll just start with the basics. You're going to need some warm clothes. Now, I didn't bring all of these items over here because they're a bit bulky, but I'll put some b-roll on the screen to show you what I'm talking about. Now, also what exactly you need is going to depend on the weather conditions that you're going out in. For me, I'll probably go out when it's between maybe 20 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll wear something like a thermal turtleneck as a base layer and then a sweater, something like what I have on now, and then maybe a hoodie over that depending on how cold it is and also how much I'm going to be moving around. Remember, if you're going to be spending most of your time walking, you don't want to dress as warm as if you're going to spend most of your time sitting behind the camera because you'll start to get really sweaty. If you're going to be sitting down a lot, you'll start to get really cold. You can always pull off some layers while you're moving around though and put them back on when you're a little bit more stationary. Over top of my clothes, I like to wear a pair of overall style snow pants. Nothing really fancy, just something to keep my legs warm. And I like the overalls ones because they keep any wind from getting up underneath of my shirts as well. On top of that, I wear my winter coat. Again, uh, no need for anything fancy here. Just something that really blocks the wind and keeps you warm, as well as potentially you might want something water resistant as well, depending on the kind of weather you might be in. Um, and if it starts getting hot, I can unzip or pull off that coat because I do generally have a lot of layers on underneath. And then um, I will usually put on this furry hat uh, with ear flaps. I can put that on and I can pull my hood over top of it as needed. Um, all of this is of course fake fur, but it keeps your head very warm, keeps the wind from blowing in. Now something a bit more interesting is these gloves that I bought recently. These are the Valorette, I think that's how you say it, Markov V3 photography gloves. And these are designed specifically for winter photography. And what's interesting about these is that the thumb and index fingers of them actually fold back at magnet so that you can use the camera because uh, the touchscreen gloves just never really actually work the way that they're supposed to. And it's still very hard to work those little dials and things uh, with those touchscreen gloves on anyway. Um, now, since only the two fingers open up on these, I actually have to get a little bit creative to work the front dial on my camera, um, but that's not really a huge deal. Of course, your fingertips are definitely going to get cold when that's opened, um, but it's better than having your whole glove off, which is what I've uh, had to do in the past. And these seem to have really good grips on them um, so that they keep the camera secure. Uh, there's a soft patch on here, which I guess is for like wiping your lens or whatever. Um, so I really like the look of these. Now I haven't really gotten to try them for photography yet, but I have kind of worn them out in the cold several times just to see how well they work. And uh, they're actually kind of nice for being able to pull out my phone and do things on as well. Now, these are advertised as being for midwinter, and honestly, I do kind of wish they were just a bit warmer. The main thing that I notice is that the wind still kind of gets through them. On a still day, you're super comfortable. I was out when it was well below freezing on a still day, uh, still evening actually, after the wind had stopped and it really just wasn't that bad. So on a still day, uh, these are actually really comfortable. But on a windy day, I find that my hands start to really get cold if they're out of my pockets for a while. Not numb or anything, I think there's still like a safe temperature, um, but a bit cold. Now, Valorette offer warmer gloves on their website, so I might try out some of those 
in the future. Also, another concern that I do have with them is it seems like they run just a bit small. Having said all that though, I do really like these gloves so far. Opening up the fingers uh, keeps my hands a lot warmer than if I were to take the whole glove off and I think that's a pretty cool design and I do really love a good design when I see it so I'm excited to try to use these a bit more. Now from here there are three items of winter gear that I want to recommend which aren't clothing. First of all, a hot drink in a thermos is huge. It makes being out there in the cold so much better when you can stop and open up uh, that nice warm drink, whether it's tea or coffee or hot chocolate. It just really warms you up as you're out doing landscape photography in the snow, stomp under a tree, have a warm drink. The second thing is a first aid kit. Uh, this is mine right here. You've probably seen this in some of my videos because I usually hang it on the outside of my bag somewhere. And um, when I am out, um, especially when I'm out alone, it's always important to me to make sure that I'm safe, even though I'm usually not that far out. And in this, in addition to some basic medical supplies, I also keep an emergency blanket and one of those emergency rain ponchos so that if I were to start getting too cold or if it warms up slightly and starts raining while it's still near freezing, whatever might happen, it's just really nice for peace of mind to have everything in here just in case. And finally, I really recommend having some winter tires or some all seasons that are good in the snow. If you're going to drive someplace for winter photography, you're probably going to want to get out right after it snows, while that snow is still fresh, and you want to make sure that you're safe while you're doing that. Personally, I have the Michelin Cross Climate 2 on my car, which are an all-season tire that has also earned the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rating, which makes them excellent in light to moderate snow, but I don't have to change them out for summer driving. I feel way safer on the road with those than when I was using regular all seasons. I used to slide around quite a bit really, and now it's pretty solid. Um, and if you get into uh, even more snow, you'd really want to get a dedicated winter tire. Now this is not sponsored by Michelin, um, but just make sure that you have good tires and everything on your car so that you're safe while driving for your winter photography. Photography in the snow really requires some extra steps uh, to make it both fun and safe but if you make sure that you're warm enough and you're safe on the roads, then it can be really very rewarding because it does just freshen up the landscape so much. So that is all for this video. Hopefully it helped to give you some ideas about how to make your winter photography more comfortable. And if you have any ideas that I haven't mentioned, please mention those in the comments down below. Share them with us. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos that I am really excited to share with you in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.